So we're back for another installment of Hey Look, a Squirrel with a Top Hat. Today, uh, what are we doing today? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're either going to fight the Queen Bee or the, the, uh, the Hive Mind. I'm not entirely sure which one, but we should be able to find the Old Man at some point and steal the portal from him for a lofty amount of gold. But we also have some items that I was crafting just, just to see, you know, just at the end of yesterday's episode after I was done recording, just to see what items we can craft. Uh, spoiler, we can't really craft that many. So with shadow scales, we can craft armor, which is very nice. So we can either make shadow armor or ancient shadow armor. I'm not exactly sure what the ancient shadow armor does, if it's the exact same as shadow armor, or if it's better. Um, but it can turn into the ancient, uh, the ancient shadow enchantment, which is very nice. Uh, what else can we do with this? I guess we'll need it on top of the normal shadow enchantment. So I guess we still need both either way, so we're gonna make shadow armor. I should have left enough to make shadow armor, as well as I need more demonite bars. So we'll work on that. Let me craft this. We'll work on that. We did make an, a nightmare pickaxe because we do need that to get hellstone later on. Uh, as well as destroy any of those annoying blocks. But we made three weapons. First one is the malaise. This bad boy doesn't really do anything, I don't think. It inflicts shadow flame on hit, which I don't know if that'll be quite good enough. And then we also have light's bane, which could be a decent me true melee weapon. We don't have any projectiles, no crazy dumb sound effects happening. But we also have the crusher blade. This inflicts Cursed Inferno, and critical hits reduce enemy defense by 10. I'm not exactly sure how long that debuff lasts, but it's just a little bit slower and, you know, more true melee power. But this thing does serious damage. It has 49 true melee damage already, um, which is very nice. So we're probably going to replace this, and our Light's Bane... I don't know, it doesn't really seem good enough, so we're just going to, like, leave it. And then we need to fight Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, what time is it? 7.30? Yeah, yeah, we can fight I. We'll fight I twice. If I can find the summoner. I also fought I a whole bunch uh, in between episode 3 and 4 just to see if I could get the, the scarf. And then I realized that the scarf is only from buying it from the copier now. So, that was funny. Alright, so we're going to take way too much damage, I guess. Just because, you know, we're trying to fight the Eye of Cthulhu with a melee weapon. But I mean, that damage? <laughs> That's pretty good. And then we just switch over to this. I wish we could control which way we were facing with our, uh, with our weapon, but we can't. Alright, we're in phase two. enemies. We could also get the projectiles, honestly, though. Oh no, we can't. This bad boy doesn't have Lux or Skip projectiles. That's interesting. I wonder if Light's Bane does. Alright, that's a strat for some nice damage with true melee. Right, so we got one treasure bag. We'll see how much uh, demonite this actually is. Yeah, it's not that much, so we are going to need to kill him twice. So we might as well get those kills in, craft up the armor, and then uh, we'll probably go fight Queen Bee just so that we can get some nice progression going. And hopefully we find the old man, well not the old man, the uh, the tavern keep, so that we can, uh, we can get the old one's army underway. I'm not entirely sure if there's anything like too necessary in the way of old one's army yet, but it's good to get it done just so that later on when we need stuff from it, we already have, there's a golden grasshopper, <laughs> so that we already have some turrets and stuff and we're not just like completely in the dark and getting destroyed. So yeah, golden grasshopper. All right, so we found, oh, we're just making up an arena here for the queen bee and we found our boy, the attorney of crystal man. Uh, he gave us some stuff that we can't pick up. The 
because we have way too much stuff on our hands right now. Uh, okay, we need this for later. So we're going to pick up the lightning rod. Um, yeah, I think the lightning rod is going to be the best for us right now. Just because it'll be able to do constant damage uh, after the fact. And then we need to pick up a whole bunch of these because they get more expensive as you, as you progress. So having these now is a lot cheaper than having them later. And I did switch over to my gold armor set because it makes mining way faster. Like 45% faster. So yeah, it's definitely a little bit more doable to do mining. Especially with dual wielding pickaxes, which I very much so like. Because um, you never used to think about wearing gold armor, honestly. And I think, I, I think we're low enough for it to be jungle. Like I'm fairly certain, but surface things keep spawning, which is kind of uh, kind of terrifying. But yeah, we'll finish up this arena and then we'll see if we can't die to Queen Bee. All right, it's time to go. We got our arena, we got some campfires, we got all our stuff set up. Let's switch over to good armor. Let's get rid of some trash. And then let's head, oh my goodness, 5,000 mud blocks. Now let's head into this boss fight and see if we don't survive. <laughs> Alright, let's eat some bacon too. Alright, so true melee issues, you know, as you would expect. We're going to be hitting quite a few of those marks. And hopefully, like, all the adds will give us enough, I don't know, <laughs> enough of these to be able to deal with the true melee issues. But we can switch back to this, but it's like, it's so old that, like... It's not much damage. We're not going to get much damage output out of it. I should have made these like slightly, slightly closer together so that I could just drop straight down and get that nice little advantage. Get at least one or two hits in. Yeah, I feel like all our DPS is going to come from like a semi ranged weapon. Melee is just tough. Melee is tough. But even with 50% more HP, this boss is, like, not really that healthy, honestly. Does not seem that full of health. Maybe with this we can land some shots. Because this thing does have the particles, the ranged particles. Yeah, they're not very fast. I think we just go for hoping that, like, during that phase, we can get a few hits in. It would be nice to have the dash with the with the cloak, but we don't have that yet, so we're kind of just screwed for now. Okay, Queen Bee. Calm down! Holy cow! <laughs> we definitely need a semi-ranged melee weapon. Uh, so hopefully Hive Mind can give that to us. Hive Mind will let us get Aerial Light Ore, which is very nice. But we might run into the same exact issue where we just don't have anything to be able to use, like, ranged attacks. Like, we have nothing good for ranged attacks that's not, like, super ancient. I'll have to check the internet for... Yes, yeah, he Light's Bane doesn't even have it either. That's crazy. Hopefully we'll be able to get something that's like kind of ranged. The yo-yo could also help a little bit. Just because we are like super weak on the ranged side of things. And we might switch over to a yo-yo for a little bit because we do have like that little bit of yo-yo range. Um, I'd have to get a yo-yo bag. But we do have this very nice merchant right here which gives us all the things that we would need. So like we could upgrade to a blizzard in a bottle which I actually will do. Um, as you can see, it doesn't give us the sandstorm in a bottle, um, because uh, supposedly we shouldn't have the ability to get that yet. But we do have the ability to get all the things to make a fall damage resistant blizzard in a balloon, which is very nice. And then we could also buy a string and a counterweight. What else do we need for a yo-yo bag? The yo-yo glove. And the yo-yo glove is like eternities away, so I might not even get that. Um, yeah, so hopefully... Our yo-yo will be, like, okay. <laughs> and we'll be able to survive. But yeah, let's upgrade this blizzard. Just so we have, like, a little bit more of... Um, what is it named? 
white horseshoe balloon. Just so we have that little bit of extra, like, jump capabilities. And hopefully the jump capabilities will, like, will help a little bit with our boss fighting. Because we do have that little, like, it, it is quite a big movement boost, which is nice. And hopefully that'll help us out a little bit. Uh, we also need... What else do we need? I feel like there's something else for yo-yos that I just don't know about. But I'm going to check the wiki, and then we'll see if we want to fight... Uh, Queen Bee again, or if we want to fight the uh, the hive mind, because Queen Bee is a little bit annoying, because you have to go to another beehive every single time, or craft this super complicated, impossible to craft thing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's see what we want to do. All right, after literally like just a quick peek, I realized we have not used our what. We have not used our Instivator yet, which, let's make sure, nothing important down there, nope, okay. Which does this, which is, uh, I mean, it's pretty nice. It lets us get all the way down to hell. Hopefully it does actually destroy, like, indestructible blocks. I'm not entirely sure if it does, but I think it does. At least I, I hope it does. Uh, so we can just go straight down, there's a nice little mining outpost there. And we can head down to the underworld, and hopefully in the underworld we'll be able to get some, uh... Oh, it goes just straight down to the bottom of the world. Okay. Sure. Sure thing, game. <laughs> what, a, what a great idea. Just make it go through everything. Um, but I, what I was saying is, hopefully, we need some fire resistance, actually, because that hurts. And that really hurts. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to get some stuff to make some better armor as well as like some better weapons and then we'll have we'll have a little bit closer to a uh, to a to a like a best loadout possible for fighting our boy the uh, the perforators because once we kill the perforators we'll get better armor and then we'll get a bit stronger, and then we can fight, uh, we can fight things a little bit easier, like, especially vanilla things, um, and it'll just make it, like, a little bit better of an experience. I should probably get some better resistances for here, though, because I, I totally forgot about that, honestly. The underworld is hot, who would have thought? It's like it's full of lava or something. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna mine up, get our, uh, get our hell forges going grab up a whole bunch of ore and make uh make some pretty good armor let's grab this bookshelf as well that's lava all right so we got a whole bunch of hellstone and first thing to note is we can actually make the deviant's curse from uh fargo souls so we could fight that i don't really think we will until later on when we are way too overpowered and we want to get some of the uh some of the souls just to make our calamity experience even more overpowered uh but yeah so we can craft the pickaxe if we wanted to which we probably will um just because we have we have quite a few uh <laughs> quite a few health stone we have 240 still uh we're gonna make the full set of armor which is molten armor and then we should also make the flaming uh the flaming piece but this will give us defense as well as true melee damage 20 percent melee damage true melee damage 17 percent normal melee damage and it grants immunity to fire and temporary immunity to lava now ooh, that's cool favorite this item to prevent voodoo demons from appearing near you oh let's uh let's grab one of these um what's it called voodoo demon voodoo i'm gonna grab one of these just because we've already gotten a voodoo doll so we don't really need another one until uh, until we throw it in the pit and then we die and then we need to get another one but until then we're, we're fine we're totally fine we can also make the fiery greatsword um uh, just because we're gonna be wanting we're gonna be wanting to get a whole bunch of damage upgrades anyways and this is like we don't want to dual wield it this is a pretty big damage upgrade like more than double damage and it does 174 true melee damage, which is actually kind of insane. Like, that's a lot of damage. Uh, we'll see what else we can get. We can get the short sword, 
which explode enemies explode on hit. It's kind of interesting. And it can turn into the true knight's tiny stabber. Um, what else could we get? Flare Frost, which is after we kill the slime god. Um, what else? This is melee damage. Broken Biome Blade. We need to stop, like... Broken Biome Blade. Uh, that's after... Uh, whatchamacallum. So we can't do that quite yet. <laughs> Pretty much all of this is like, oh, that's after this. We can't do that yet. Um, which is understandable, just because of all the things that we can use this stuff for. Like, this stuff is used to make Statagel armor uh, after we kill Slime God, as well as all of the late game stuff, like Hydro. Uh, I don't think that we think there's that much else we can craft right now. We can craft the Flamerang, which would probably be a good idea because then we'll have a ranged weapon. And this Flamerang will probably help, like, quite a bit. Uh, let's get the Fiery Stabber. Flame Burst Short Sword. Just because the meme. Legendary, too. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, this meme is going to be hilarious. Uh, and then we can also make the Rock Scalibur later, which I'm so excited to make because Rock Scalibur is so funny. Um, <laughs> if you didn't know, it says, you couldn't get it out of the rock, so you just brought the rock instead. <laughs> when you're so powerful, you can't, you can pick up an entire boulder on the end of a sword, but you can't take the sword out of the boulder. Oh, that's so good. What a good joke. This thing's massive. Uh, how about the short sword? Short sword is, uh pretty good. This doesn't spawn very many shrooms. Like, it only spawns five. Does this have a ranged attack? No. Does this have a ranged attack? No. This does. It's not full auto, though, so it sucks. And the yo-yo, obviously. Kind of difficult to do. So Luxor is definitely not happening right now. But uh, hopefully this Fiery Greatsword will be enough to make us deal quite a bit more damage. As well as the Shadow Set. The Shadow Set should help quite a bit. Um... What else was I looking into? Uh, I think it was... Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Let me see. Oh yeah, the Blade Crest Oath Sword, or the Old Lord Oath Sword, which both drop in from enemies in the Underworld. I'm pretty sure they both do. Let's see. Um, uh, Blade Crest? This? Blade Crest. Yeah. Actually, we could just do Oath Sword. Forbidden Oath Blade. So that's like upgrading the two of them. But these guys just... Yeah, this drops from Bone Serpents. This drops from Demons. So we could get one of those. Uh, I don't know if they do ranged attacks, but it's worth checking them out. And that was pretty much it. That's like literally... We have everything. Everything that's recommended for pre-perforators. So I think we're just going to go try perforators. Uh, and hopefully it'll work. We could also go with feral claws, I think. Because we should be able to get those combat. We cannot. Um, I think those are gotten from the... The jungle biome. Which means we could probably craft them as well. For some leather. Oh, we have them. We have them. <laughs> So yeah, we can uh, we can get that. We're probably gonna put Luxor's gift away now. Uh, yeah, this gives me a decent amount more attack speed. Definitely on the boomerang it helps. It'd be nice to have the clicker mod, but I don't have the clicker mod, so rip. Um, the clicker mod just makes it so that like instead of like if I hold down mouse button, see nothing happens. But if I just click a whole bunch, it works. So the clicker mod just makes it so that when you hold down mouse button, it just clicks a whole bunch instead of. Uh, instead of holding down mouse button for you. So that's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, so we need Skeletron to finish doing that stuff. So I guess we just uh, we favorite that first of all. Savage, okay, Flamerang doesn't have a modifier. We should probably get some modifiers. Since we have some money, we have, I think one platinum. We have one platinum, yes. So we should get some modifiers. Probably gonna want uh, Godly, Godly's good enough. This has unpleasant on it. Uh, this has damage, size, knockback. We want something with speed on it, too. Unpleasant, damage, and knockback. Savage. Legendary. There we go. So now we have some more speed. So it does swing a little bit faster, but this thing's massive. Absolutely massive. Um, 
Yeah, let's uh, let's go fight the perforators. Oh yeah, I did get more swag. I got the uh, the kimono, but I think the cape is pretty nice for now. We'll get the cape until we switch over to a new world because there's obviously still the issue of we're not going to be able to do anything with like Siren when we get there because we have no ocean. So obviously we're going to have to fix that issue by going to a new world. Sadly, that's the only real solution I can think of. I'm not sure if if uh, this boss requires you to be underground or not, but we're just going to do it underground because, I mean, we're true melee, like, our attacks can barely make it to the ceiling anyways. Or we're not true melee, but we're melee and our attacks can barely make it to the ceiling anyways, so it's not really like we have to bother that much. And we can always... Uh, we can always extend the arena up a little bit and just start blocking off some stuff. And that's what I'm going to be doing. And yeah, once the boss spawns, we'll, uh, we'll start fighting the hive mind. All right, that was quick. We didn't even have time to, uh, <laughs> to make the arena. So I guess we'll just go for it. Oh, I didn't get potions, but yeah, yeah, yeah. If this doesn't go well, it's because I didn't get potions, you know? That's the reason. That's 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 actually the reason. It's because I didn't get potions, and that's why it didn't go well. So we're just going with our nice little basic uh, basic loser setup of having no potions at all. Hopefully he will come over here. Yep, he did. The first stage in Hive Mind isn't really that bad, and then he just starts getting kind of busted. And I can't really see half of his particles just because of. <laughs> Some of my uh, some of my particle effects are a little bit extravagant, to say the least. But our procs, our procs are gonna be kind of busted. I think we're just gonna kill him, honestly, with the broken flame sword. He's he's getting destroyed. I don't know if he has a second stage or not. If he doesn't, he's kind of he, he kind of just died. Yeah, he just died. Okay, cool. <laughs> We're in revenge mode, right? <laughs> okay, so infusion is kind of busted. Uh, they even had to balance it because of how busted it is, but I mean, it makes sense that they had to balance it. Um, after we read it, which I'm going to go back to base just because of enemies. So infusion, killing an enemy increases your health permanently. Now this in Risk of Rain 1 has no cap. It has no cap. The cap is for life is 9,999, I'm fairly certain. Uh, just because of integers so infusion gives you permanent 0 0.2 hp up to up to 50 max hp so this is kind of broken like anything we kill will give us more max hp so now our max hp is 450 actually we just have to happen to unlock it by killing stuff um and it also has a stored heal so basically as you kill stuff it'll give you health but it won't give you that HP until it gives you an actual 1 HP. So we have to kill 5 things to get 1 HP. Um, just to make it a little bit more balanced. Because if it just starts giving us stuff, like, we'll have micro... <laughs> we'll have micro amounts of uh, HP, and that just... The game doesn't know how to deal with that. So we got the Hive Mind Soul, which is... A hive of clustered, microbial infected flesh. I do not believe killing it will lessen the corruption here. And it doesn't. It doesn't, in fact, lessen the corruption. So, you know, sucks to suck. We got Rotten Brain. Uh, increased damage when below 75% life, which kind of useless, because I don't think there's anything that locks your life down, uh, as well as 5% movement speed below 50%. And Shade rains down when we are hit. So it's a little tiny little uh, Star Cloak. Uh, early game Star Cloak. We got a summoning weapon. We got a magic weapon. And we got another magic weapon. But we did get Rotten Matter, which is the important thing here. At least important for, you know, boss rewards. <laughs> Nothing really from this boss is all that important. Because it just gives you area light, and that's that's the main takeaway. Uh, but what we could craft is the Perfect Dark. It doesn't go into anything. But we could craft the Leaking Dagger, which goes into the Knight's Stabber. Um, it's used in combination with the other stabby boys so we are going to be crafting that and then i think there's nothing else we can really craft right magic 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 uh summons the hive mind and this is for 
rogues. Yeah, so that's pretty much all we can do. Just craft the stabber. Stabber, not stagger. Uh, correct. What was it again? <laughs> uh, leeching dagger. Dagger. That's why you pressed a G. Um, and then for the dagger, all else we need is the spore knife, which I don't know if we can get that right now. Yeah, we can't get it right now. We need more spores, obviously. And then we need the ancient shiv. I don't know how to get the ancient shiv, actually. Um, I'm guessing it's from, oh, it's from dark casters. Okay. So yeah, so we got like more stuff to craft for that. And then we did bless our world with area light. As you can see, the ground is glitty, gl glittering. I can read, I can read, don't worry. The ground is glittering with cyan light. It's hard to read because there's all that stuff, uh, <laughs> there's all the stuff back here. So we'll head on down and get some area light. Uh, I should bring a spelunky potion with me just to make things a little bit easier to see as well as a mining potion. And that's just proccing our alchemist charm. Like, it, we just had a, the chance to not use our potions there. So we used them and they didn't get consumed. Oh, we got area light right up here. So this is what it looks like. In case you did not know, this is what area light looks like over here. And we just ruined all the lighting in our cave, or in our elevator. And Aerolite, I think it requires Demonite. It would make sense that it requires Demonite um, to mine. But yeah, hopefully we can find enough in a decent amount of time. There is a nice function in Calamity, which I would love to have in normal Terraria, where, like, despite the fact that there's so many things, like that slime that we just killed gives us Aerolite ore. So. There's infinite area light ore in this world, not because it's spawned, but because uh, there are enemies that drop it, which is a very genius idea, honestly. Making it so like, if you didn't really want to go mining, you could just fight some enemies. And then with fighting enemies, you get area light anyways. Um, so yeah, we'll get some area light and uh, craft up the area light armor and see if we can't fight Queen Bee. I don't know if we have enough time. We probably don't. So I'm just going to end off the episode here and start another one. Because that's how you do it here in the YouTube world. So yeah, that'll be it for today. We got the Fiery Greatsword. 183 true melee damage, which is actually insane. Like, that's so much damage. And it's massive. So it has a huge hitbox. Uh, yeah. Hopefully tomorrow or in the next episode, we'll be tackling the Queen Bee as well as Skeletron. Now, once we kill Skeletron, I am going to loot the dungeon a decent amount, and then we're going to change worlds to one that has an ocean that works, as well as some other things that that work, like a better sky hitbox with a large world, and other things like that. So once we hit Skeletron, we're going to switch to a new world, move everything over, and it'll be nice. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.